so in this video we are going to discuss about the ac through resistance ac through inductor and ac through capacitance and also we will learn about the uh, phasor and the phasor diagram <coughs> so first we will discuss about the ac through a ac applied to a resistance resistor you can say so ac voltage or alternating voltage alternating voltage applied to a register so in this case the circuit diagram will be like this so here is a resistance and uh, the AC source so you can give the name V is equal to V naught sine omega t AC source you can see the symbol of the AC <coughs> now from this AC source we will find out what is, the, what is the current so Ohm's law we know Ohm's law is equal to V is equal to I into R so you are going to find out the I so I is equal to V by R. So V is V naught sine omega T by R. So I is equal to V naught by R sine omega T. Or you can say I is equal to I naught sine omega T. So what is I naught? I naught is equal to V naught by R. This is I naught. Peak value. So you can understand the peak value of the uh, current is less than the peak value of the voltage okay so equation you can see i is equal to i naught sine omega t here and uh, voltage is v is equal to v naught sine omega t so in the in this case there is no phase difference because they are having same angle so phase difference is if if i if it's come v is equal to v naught sine omega t plus phi then phi will become the we'll called the phase difference okay so in this case there is no phase difference so if i write the waveform of the voltage and current so we'll get like this so suppose here voltage or current in this side and this is time in this axis so zero so for voltage we'll use different color so for voltage we'll use uh, this one so, so ink so voltage will be like this This is the voltage and this is the peak value of the voltage peak value this is v naught this is also minus v naught in this side and current will be little bit peak will be little bit less because it is v naught by r so you see there is no phase difference omega to omega d so everything will start from the same point and will go in this way so this will become the current so this is I naught from here to here. This is uh, I naught. You write I naught, and from here, and this is V naught. This one is V naught. Okay. So this is the way called. Uh, and now, if I want to draw the phasor diagram, so phasor diagram will be like this. So first, you draw x axis and y axis. This is called the phasor diagram. X and y axis and first we'll draw the voltage that means v naught will show like this way we we'll show the v naught v naught in this way and uh, see there is no difference of uh, uh, phase so that is why i naught will be here this is the i naught so it is the angle omega t is the angle this is omega t here omega t okay so now <coughs> if we want to find out this value so this will become this is become v naught sin omega t entire thing and this one this one this part will become v naught i naught sin omega t okay i naught sin omega t okay so this is zero so now this is the thing uh, in this case you can say that the phase difference between i and v is zero so write down phase difference or this diagram shows 
this diagram shows that the phase difference between i and v is zero okay now we'll uh, after that we'll discuss about the uh, ac through an inductor okay so ac through ac applied to an inductor ac applied we can write alternating voltage alternating voltage applied to an inductor so inductor will look like this this inductor coil this one is v is equal to v not sin omega t and <coughs> you know this one this l is inductor so it will be minus l di by dt that is the emf produced in the inductor so emf of the inductor okay so you can write from the kirchhoff's law that v plus this is the voltage v plus minus l di by dt will be equal to zero or you can write l di by dt is equal to v or you can write di by dt is equal to v by l so our intention is that from this voltage we will find out the uh, how much the current so uh, di will be equal to how much will be equal to uh, v by sorry di uh, di by dt will be equal to v by l okay and uh, uh, v means what v is equal to v not sin omega t v is equal to v not sin omega t and then by l and then t will be here in this dt you can write so after that we can integrate this one you can integrate like this so if we integrate di we will get i so v not by l will come out v not by l and then integration of sin omega t will get minus cos omega t by omega and then you can write minus of um, or you can write this one v not by l omega minus cos omega t now instead of minus cos omega t you can write this one that v not by l omega you can write sin omega t minus pi by 2 that you can write so here i not has become i not right here i not has become uh, v not by l omega so from there you can write i is equal to i is equal to i not sin omega t minus pi by 2 so the difference between the voltage voltage v is equal to v not sin omega t and i is equal to i not sin omega t minus pi by 2 so that is the difference now you can understand this one the current is uh, there is a phase difference between the current and voltage so if you want to draw the <coughs> Uh, this one that waveform and the phasor diagram so it will be like this I'm going to draw this so.
so this one is the voltage this is the voltage in this side this is v naught this one is the time you can say omega t this side time and see there is a phase difference is how much pi by 2 phase difference so as well as you can draw this one in this side you can draw the on this uh, uh, phasor diagram also this is called time diagram this is time diagram and this one is phasor diagram so in the phasor diagram you can see this one if you just draw a line straight to this one in this way so you just draw this one like this this is v naught this is your v naught <coughs> now v naught this is omega t now is omega t minus pi by 2 that means i will be definitely in this side in this side so for that you can draw the i also this is say this is i this one is 90 degree angle this is i naught and if you draw this one in this way like this in this so the i will start from here in this go like this Well, like this one. So this one is I naught minus I naught. So this is the current waveform and this is the uh, voltage. So this current is equal to I is equal to I naught sine omega t minus pi by 2. And V is equal to V naught sine omega t. So these are all the, this is the uh, purely inductive circuit. So you can say that the current lags behind. See, current is lagging actually. So, current is lag behind the voltage by pi by 2. This is a 90 degree angle. So, current lag behind the voltage by the angle of pi by 2. In other words, you can say the phase difference exists between the voltage and the current in AC circuit uh, having the pure inductive. Okay. So, these are the time diagram for this. So, next we will go to the uh, another thing that is called the inductive reactance. Okay.